Hi everyone, uh, in this tutorial I would like to show you how you can create a switch toggle out of a checkbox, something like this. Uh, it's a pretty cool element, I've seen it a lot. Uh, I tend to make uh, tutorials uh, once every week, but this time was so cool, so I thought that I, I, I should share the knowledge with you. So usually these these elements are used uh, in the notific in the in the preferences or in the settings panel, and as you can see, it's pretty cool to toggle something on and off. Okay, let's get started. Um, I've already created a, a div with a class switch, put an input and a label. If you followed my previous tutorials, I kind of used the same thing because the elements that I've created uh, is based on checkboxes. Uh, so let's style this guy. Uh, I'm gonna style my uh, sort of container here. Uh, I will put uh, position relative for this guy. And then uh, the second thing that I want to style is the actual label here. Uh, so the label is gonna be the background uh, sort of uh, rectangular thing behind the toggle. So let's give it the width of 55 pixel and the height of maybe 23 pixel. Uh, position absolute and also uh, I want to give it a background color of 999 and uh, yeah, let's see how it looks like. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, give it a top zero and left zero. One important thing is that I want to get rid of this guy, the checkbox itself, so I do switch input type checkbox and then set the visibility to uh, hidden. Yeah. And uh, all right. So as you can see, we have something like this. To make it rounded, I'll do border radius 50 pixel, and it looks pretty good. Now, for the actual toggle or the switch handle, I will do switch, and then I have my label and do after. I don't want any content on that uh, with the width. So, as you can see, we have the height of 33. Uh, in order to make it something look like this, the height should be like two pixels less than the height of the container. So I would let it to be uh, 21 pixel. And then the height is the same. And I'll give it the same border radius, 50 pixel as the parent container. Uh, not the parent container in the sense of HTML, but the parent container in here, the UI. Uh, and uh, I would set the position to uh, absolute. I will give it a top one pixel and left one pixel. So let's see how it looks. Uh, I need to actually put a background color to white. Um, all right, cool. So we have it. Now it's time to actually be able to click it and it should move. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put the input, of course our type is checkbox, and then on the checked, I would like to change the element, after element of the label to the left part of it to be, the left of it to be, all right, we have 55 here, the width is 21, maybe 32 pixels. So if I click on this, yeah, one pixel more, uh, you can see that it switches back and forth by my click. Uh, one more thing, I want to animate this guy and also change the background as well when I switch. So this mode is like disabled or toggled off and when I click it, I want this to move and then the background gets green. So in order to do that, uh, I will actually add and the transition, transition to the all, 
and one second and adding these makes this move but this is one second I would like to actually set it to 0 0.1 second uh, so you can see that it moves quite fast and also I will copy the same uh, style but this time the label itself I want the background color background color to be the color that I want let's say green you can always choose what color you want and as you can see by clicking on that you change the color as well I hope you like this tutorial uh, please subscribe to my channel um, and if you had any questions or concerns just comment out uh, uh, I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Have a nice weekend. Bye.